I'm not even going to edit this one. I'm just going to say this. Because, uh, I have to just spill this out. Okay. I want you to imagine that 25 years ago, right, there were a bunch of celebrities who were extremely talented in their own right, and they pulled together, and they decided to run a marathon. 26K, the full mile. They're just going, and they're booking it, and it's a big to-do, and everybody loves it, and they pour the money in, and everybody's just weeping and just saying, oh my God, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. they are send the money overseas, and it's going to be great. And then 25 years later, right, instead of making it a marathon, they get corporate sponsorship from Visa, and they get Coca-Cola to help them out a little bit, too, in some ways. And they get lots of extra help. And they get way more celebrities, okay? And they give it the same name. So that everybody thinks it's going to be the same thing. And then, instead of having them run the marathon, right, they're going to have them walk the marathon, okay? All the way. They're just going to walk it this time and give the money to a different cause and expect the same amount of support the same amount of sympathy, the same amount of empathy, the same amount of gratitude is going to come at them. That's what they think is going to happen. What would you do? You're sitting there, you're, you're waiting for them to just, they're just going to do that same thing. Da dee 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 dee, all the way. And all of a sudden they're walking. How would you feel? It's the same cause, it's the same 26 miles, right? But it's just something's not right. Something feels off. That's what I'm feeling. Maybe you feel something different. Don't blame me. I know that some people never even heard the first version. Some people are too young to have heard the first version. They think, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. More power to you. I'm not saying don't give them the money. I'm saying you may as well not even listen to the song. Because you may as well just listen to the first version and say, oh, great, they did another version. This gives me another excuse to give money. Give the money. Give Lionel Richie and Quincy Jones and all the Haitian people that came in, flown in, the producers and the musicians, whatever, uh, and the editors and everything. Get, get, get them to, you know, get, get their money and get them to send the money back. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, you may as well not listen to the song. Just, just click on the link that says We Are The World 25 and just do a little donate thing with the PayPal or whatever that they got going on and give them some cash because there's no point in listening to this song half of the musicians are auto-tuned I counted half maybe my ears off I don't know but Celine Dion auto-tuned of course you got uh, some of the other people like uh, Wycliffe I can never say his name right Wycliffe is it Jean or Jean or Jean? I don't know. Anyway, um, that brother, auto-tuned all the way. Now, I don't, I'm not saying these people can't sing. I'm not saying they're not talented. I'm saying for this one particular event, they walked instead of ran. Because it was auto-tuned. If you listen real close, you can hear some kind of pitchy weirdness going on with Celine Dion's in particular. Near the end, there's some slightly robotic stuff. And Justin Bieber, same thing. Uh, actually, the only one that I remember that wasn't really auto-tuned a lot, I, maybe she wasn't at all, was Pink. Pink brought it. Pink, well, and she should have been featured more because she was one of the only ones that didn't need the work done. She was the only one who didn't need little touch-ups. And then there were two sisters at the end that were cool. Uh, but come on now. It was at least 40 of them. Uh, and maybe I counted wrong, I don't know, but if you count, if you really look, it's a, it's a good 30 or 40 of them that were, that were all pitchy. Their, their pitches were like real good when they weren't really supposed to be. You know, that bothers me, it's, you know, because it's not the same thing. Don't call it the same thing if it's not going to be the same thing. If, you, if you're not going to sing it, do a rap song. Do like what those guys did at the end. 
when they rapped at the end of We Are The World. If you're going to do that, just make it rap. I don't care. Don't call it the same thing. Don't call it a marathon unless you're going to run the marathon. Call it a walkathon. Call it something else. But don't call it the same thing and put Michael Jackson's face and his name and his reputation on it and Lionel Richie and Quincy Jones's face on it if you're not going to do the same thing. Don't lie to people. That's what I'm saying. So just give them the money. It doesn't matter. Because you're giving it to a good cause either way. You may as well give it to, you know, Red Cross because they're not going to lie to you. You may as well give it to Hope for Haiti. They're not going to lie to you. There's a bunch of other ways to do it. But if you're going to give your money to these people that were really talented, give it to them. It doesn't make a difference. But just don't watch the video, okay? Don't bother. Me. Look at it for a little while. We are the world. Do, 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 do. And click. And just give them the money. Because it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So that's that. If you disagree, disagree. It doesn't matter to me. Just send the money. Because they need it now. It's been a month. Okay. So that's me. I'm out of here.